Hello everyone, Danny here with Trimble's system-wide acceptance testing team here to show you how to import and use point clouds in Trimble Business Center. First things first, you're going to want to open an existing project or a new project in TBC. Once your project is open, you can now open the folder where your scan data is located. You can look under your work orders, work order name, and there should be a directory labeled scan data. Depending on the size of your scan and the number of scans you have, you will see a number of different files here, including pictures if you chose to use true color. The only file we need to import into TBC is the .jxl file. Once you find your JXL file, you can then drag it into your workspace. After importing your scan, TBC will ask you at what scale you wish to import your scan. If you want a one-to-one -one ratio, just leave the default one and press OK. Once you press OK, your scans will begin to be extracted and registered. If you took pictures during your scan, it'll also begin to colorize your scans as well. You can choose to cancel the skep if you wish to save time. You can always do this step later on. Once the loading is finished, you should see your scan populate onto your planned view. From here, we're going to do a few things to make our work a little bit easier. As you can see, the scan is very large. What we're going to want to do is crop out any areas we don't need in order to save time with processing. We're going to do this by using a limit box. You can find this under the main home menu tab. Once you click on the limit box icon, you can then use the colored handles to adjust the size of your limit box. This doesn't need to be perfect, but cutting most of your scan out will save you loads of time in the long run. Once you're happy with your limit box size, you can hit create. Now, if you have a lot of things in your area that you wish to get rid of, you will want to follow this next step. We are now going to classify the objects in our scan. You're going to want to select the scan inside of your limit box and under the point cloud tab, we're going to select the extract classified point cloud regions. Once selected, you will get a menu on your right hand side. This will give you options of what you wish to classify, including adding your own classifiers. What we mainly care about is to keep the ground of the scan and remove everything else in the background. When ready, we're going to hit extract. Similar to importing your point cloud, the time this takes will be largely dependent on the size of your point cloud. Once the regions have been extracted, you will see on your left hand menu where your layers are showing your point cloud regions, all named with the tabs you selected earlier. Since we only care to create a surface of the ground, we're going to go ahead and hide everything minus the ground. As you can see, we now have the ground by itself and we can now create a much cleaner surface. To create the surface, we're going to want to navigate to the surface tab and on the left hand side, you will see a create surface icon. Make sure your point cloud is selected and go ahead and create surface. You can now name your surface, give it a classifier, a color and some more info and you're going to want to hit OK. And there you have it, your surface created from point cloud scan. If you wish to compare two different surfaces, following the same steps as the beginning of this video, import the two surfaces you wish to compare. Then under the surface tab on the right hand side, we're going to want to select the earthwork report icon. Once selected, you will have a few options on your right hand side. We're going to want to do a surface to surface report type. 
we will select our initial surface and our final surface. We can then choose a few different parameters, but we want volume totals only for this instance. Then click OK. Your report should populate directly to your browser or Excel sheet.